Hey there, guys. So today we have another beer, and what we, what we have here is Ode Chusa Boon. Um, this is a um, Chusa, Goose, Goose, whatever you want to call it, um, beer, and uh, it comes in at 7%. It is actually predominantly two-year-old Lambic. Uh, if you don't know, uh, Chusa is a, is a, well, it's a traditional Belgian style where they combine, generally, uh, one, two, and three-year-old year Lambic, sort of that sour kind of beer, you know, from Belgium. And, uh, but yeah, this beer is actually, uh, it is a blend, but it's also, I think it's like 90%, 18, 18 month old Lambic. So let's dig in. I haven't had, haven't had a uh, goose in a little while. So uh, beer comes in a nice kind of golden color. Um, maybe a touch of orange in there, but really nice kind of golden, yeah, golden yellow, orange kind of color. Nice kind of head on that. Let's look at the aroma. Mm, yeah. I get that kind of familiar aroma. Um, definitely has a tart quality that I remember in the style, uh, but not as uh, funky uh, as like Cantillon or Drew Fontaine. Yeah, a little bit light on the funky note. Maybe a little bit of that kind of um, uh, farmhouse kind of quality, a little bit of that, you know, hay kind of um, quality, uh, a lot of white grape note. Yeah, a lot of it kind of uh, almost like champagne or white wine kind of uh, a white grape note. I'm not very familiar with, with uh, wines, but that kind of note. Cheers. Mm. Pretty nice. Reasonably tart up front. A lot of um, kind of lemon peel. Um, you get a nice kind of, um, again, that white wine grape quality. Wow. Hmm. On the website, they're describing this kind of um, ginger quality, and I do get that. Wow, there's like a middle note where it's almost like, um, um, yeah, I, I was just recently cooking uh, for Thanksgiving, so I had um, using um, dried ginger, if you ever had that, like, you know, like dried ginger, and they like sugarcoat it, so you can sort of eat it as a candy, or you throw it in baking goods or whatever, um, that kind of uh, spiciness, that kind of um, ginger note, you know, candy, candy ginger is what it's called. It does have a kind of pop of kind of spiciness in there. Uh, nice comp uh, complexity, decent kind of combination, a little bit of kind of um, uh, lemon juice kind of quality, a little bit of kind of white wine, a reasonable kind of um, drying on the back end. Um, it's almost tannic. I want to say the oak is coming through on the back end. Um, not too much funk to speak of. There's a lingering note of that kind of... Um, um, musky kind of quality throughout uh, makes the you know beer you know taste a little bit like um, yeah I mean it is an old beer so yeah it tastes a little bit old but not as funky and and and, and sock like and 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 you know <laughs> like hay and horse blanket all those weird adjectives that you use for some other uh, 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 ruses this one's uh, yeah slightly more subtle on that which probably makes it um, a lot more uh, drinkable for people that are trying to get into the style it's actually really refreshing it's very nice. Medium flavors throughout, nice fruit character, um, very dry in the palate. Yeah, this is something definitely to introduce to people. It's very nice. Um, yeah, it tastes almost like champagne. It's really nice. Um, not too much fun quality, that, that, which would be detracting for some people. Not hugely complex, but I do like that it does offer flavor throughout, and it is, it is a dry palate. Uh, this beer gets an 88 on Beer Advocate. It's better than that, you know? For beer that sits on the shelf, I'm actually now excited to have the, um, I guess they may make a quote-unquote reserver kind of version, um, and it's called uh, Eau de Goose uh, par, uh, Boon, Who's a Boon Parfait? Yeah, Parfait or something like that. May have to look out for that. Um, yeah, quite good. Not too far from Tilkin. I think Tilkin's a good amount better. That's another shelf, Goose. Yeah, it ha does have a little of that funky kind of old note in there, which is nice. It offers some kind of complexity that definitely does show you that it is trying to be that style or trying, it is part of the style. Very nice. Um, a lot of white wine character, delicious stuff. Uh, this beer for me is getting a 91. So until next time, guys, cheers. Later.